now, so this should be better for them. Yeah, uh -oh. I... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A little bit of an interesting start right there. Very interesting. Looks like no harm, no foul for the most part, but an even, or excuse me, as you were, 6-4 ball advantage in favor of Grand Valley. Lazy. And there's a kill. Lazy effort. Uh-oh. Tom's Tom out. We're in down. That was quick. And a lot of momentum in favor of Grand Valley already. They came out swinging. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. This is already not good for, for, uh, for Miami. I mean, I know it's not even a minute in, but this is not, this is, this is not good. Another Miami player goes down. Another dodgeball fight to dust. I need, I need a ball or something. You know what? I can't, I can't do this right now. Anywho. Three Miami players went down within the first two minutes. A good stretch right there on the corner. Keeping wow. his flexibility. Yeah, he is. All right, let's see. All right, here we go. Miami only got two balls. Well, made that one. Oh, that's a kill. Oof, a little bit of a... Uh, Danger as a camera guy. Yeah, definitely had to save the camera. Cause that cross row was not on was not on point and it was a lazy effort. Yeah. You know, it's amazing how aggressive a team like Grand Valley plays. What a kill. But they always find a way to get balls advantage. I know. It's crazy. Oh, got him right in the head. Wow. Help, help, help. We, probably good thing we missed that headshot because my man was wearing glasses. That could have ended my man's whole career. It sucks to have to pay for vision. Yeah, it does. Good throw from Stanko. Just misses south. And it looks like Nikki will load it up, but decides to hold back. That's not going to work. Oh, good team throw. Takes out Tank. Wow. And that's going to be a balls over against Miami. It's about to get real ugly now. It's only two minutes. Hey, someone stop the clock. All right. Oh, no. Stop the clock. The clock is still running. I don't know what's going on. It should be like two, like 22, 10 or some shenanigans like that. 4-2 or 5-2? All right, so the Ohio State Saginaw Valley game just wrapped up. It was five to two in favor of Ohio State. Great win for the Great Buckeyes. Ten. Great win indeed. That's another Hunter. Uh, Dylan wants you. Four, oh, two. Four, four, four two. Four two. As you were. Nevertheless, still a great win. Nevertheless. Uh, team throw just misses. In the meanwhile, Hunter is uh, updating the scores. I'll be doing a little bit of content. Ooh. Down goes another Miami player. I wouldn't want to trade, and the pump thing is not going to save you this, in this situation. Unfortunately. Oh, oh Miss Casto. That would definitely save him. You hate to see that if you're Gonzalez. So Miami is still just sticking around. Uh -oh. Yeah, this is, this is definitely giving off some similar vibes as that Towson, Ohio game. Yeah. But we're going to see. Oh, he oh, made a catch. Catch and out. Catch and out. I, and think, it, I think another catch would get Tom Moreno back in the game. It, yeah, it indeed will. And they got Kevin Carotis back in the game, and he's a good player for Miami. That's big. So you like to see it. Uh, I seem like Maynard is trying to do something. Oh. Munger. Munger. Oh, that's how you say his name. Yeah, Munger. Interesting. He's told me plenty of times. I'm always wrong. Fair enough. 
but I'm right this time. He's right this time. Oh, oh. he missed the catch. Tough scene. Really is. Uh, the Lakers did a really good job placing it in a, in a situation where uh, Manga would have not made an easy catch. Oh, and there's a catch right there. See, you got to pay attention, man. Got to pay attention. So six players in for Grand Valley. Oh, and that's a hit. That's a hit. Yes, it is a hit. Yeah, he's out. As you were. Oh, and another guy. See, and that's one thing you got to be doing, man. You can't be arguing with the ref, and you can't be talking to the ref. You can't nah, man, you got to keep playing, man. You got to keep playing. Oh, and yeah. another guy. You got to Coda Gallagher playing. down. You got to keep playing, man. You can't be talking to the refs, man. That's just you, – you're putting yourself in a really bad situation when you do that. Oh, that got him. All right, so Ben Smart and Colin Freeman still in for Grand Valley. Those are two really important guys to have in. Great teamwork for both players. But on the Miami side, having Kevin Carotis and Tom Moran is also huge. Yeah, it is. Many people believe that Tom Moran is the MVP of the Ohio region preseason. Oh, man, that hurts. Ben Smart hitting him where it hurts. Man, he's feeling that one. And he knows it, too. His teammates trying okay, to Here it comes. Ooh, okay. All right, let's see what happened. 18 minutes and 26 seconds left in this game in the first half. Oh, oh and they got him. They got him. So Tom Moran, only player in left for Miami. Let's see if he can pull this off. Uh-oh, that's not going to work. Dangerous throw. Oh, got him. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, man, I called that, too. I literally called that. That that pump fake was so. And the ball's over. Oh, my goodness. That pump fake was so important. It literally gave him just enough time for Ben Smart to slow his momentum down and literally pinpoint kill on the leg. All right, so 1v2, Tom Moran with all the balls. Does he have it in him? He does. He he, he's, been playing a, he's been playing a lot of dodgeball the past three seasons, man. This is his moment. If you're going to make a statement against um, Grand Valley. Yeah. This is the kind of potential MVP moment right here if he pulls this off. Yeah, you want people to vote you for MVP? This is, you, this is the performance you got to do. If you ask Alex Yanaskis, he probably doesn't think he's got it. But I mean, he sh I mean, he's, he's a Laker, man. I mean, you got to believe in your teammates. Step in. Step in. Oh, oh my hey, god. Oh, 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 oh my oh, goodness. Oh Jesus. Oh, I was just saying, like relax, dude. He li like Alex Okay, so somebody won. Alex, he pretty much just say like, guys, no disrespect, but I'm going to need you guys to relax just a little bit. The man is going to make a catch. He spoke it into existence. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> literally said to us right here, catch. He, and the exact player, too. He literally said, oh, that guy, catch. This. <laughs> Somebody get that freshman's name. We, we need to figure it out within the next two minutes. I'm, I'm going to, you know what, I'll figure it out later. That's big dodgeball energy, man. Dude, we've been witnessing a lot of great catches today. We we really have, man. My goodness. That's just, just absolutely stuck it, too. I mean, you know, if you're Miami, you don't really have a better situation than that. You just get your best thrower and apparently going up against one of GB's best catchers. I mean... That's, that's one thing about the Lakers, man. They they are a program that's always in the reloading phase continuously. Yep, it's always reload. Never recover with them. Never a recovery period with them. And they, and they expect their freshmen to do big things when they're on the court. It's it's incredible. All right, Nolan Stanko, Josh Hill stepping up. Stanko with a throw. Good yep. counter from Ben Smart, just misses. So Miami's definitely still in this game without oh, yeah, question. For sure. 
but they got a. Yeah. Ooh, that was really close. I think we're. I think the issue that we're going to start seeing from Miami, though, and Grand Valley starting to expose it a little bit, but they just like aren't converting. It's right there. So one of the things that's like very oh. interesting about Grand Valley is they are always quick on the counter plays. That's their style. They like to get up close and personal with you. And if they win in that neutral zone space, then your your team is just done for. That's literally when GV's at their absolute best. Go ahead and go ahead and play them in a the transition game. Go ahead. You're gonna have a really difficult time against them. So like as an example right here, look, Josh Hill pushing the pace, but smart to hold back, knows that his team's at a ball disadvantage, probably not getting the kill there. The fact that he is pushing the back by himself. Should tell you everything you need to know. Oh, this oh. catch, another kill. Two kills against GB though. Back to back for Miami. The Red Hawks are looking red hot. They really are. Moreno's giving the signal. He just misses. Oh, good kill from Alex Yarnowski. What a kill! Accurate, 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 accurate. But you know what? Props to that Miami guy. He protected. He protected Tom Moran, one of their best teammates. That's a team play right there. Yeah. You can hear. Oh, that's a kill. Yikes. You can hear the, uh-oh. Oh, oh he, 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 he dialed it back. Oh, he, oh he's a, okay, okay. Colin's talking that good stuff, man. He's like, oh, you want some? We'll, we'll, we'll trade, we'll trade. Yeet. He's going to trade. See? See? <laughs> that's what I'm telling you, man. They run people down in the neutral zone. Colin, and Miami is not doing themselves any favors. Even though Colin went out of that exchange, he felt comfortable that his teammates going to back him up. And they did. And they did. See, if you're Miami, the worst thing that you can do is let GB get to the back line. Because watch, right? What's going to happen here? Someone's going to throw. Oh, Look at that man. charge. So and much, one kid is so much distance. Yeah. Like I'm saying, man, like you just got to be really careful when you're playing GV not to give up that neutral zone space. Yeah, man. Protect that neutral zone with your life. That's what you got to do, man. All right. So five players in for Miami. Some good talent. You got Reed Munger in, and also you got Tom Moran. We got a minute 50 left in the game. That was ground. That was ground. But you got a lot of Lakers in. Oh, he got destroyed. Good kill from Alex Yanowskis. That looked like a headshot, too. So, uh oh, that's not going to work. Ooh. Just misses. So, four players now for Miami. Wow. And like I said, they're letting GB get to that back line. Good that's, reset, though, from Tom Moran. That's not going to work. Ooh, that's the reason why that wasn't going to work. Because GB transition game is so solid. They can get you on the back heels. And they've just been ex just exploiting them. Look like GV about to do a team throw. As they should. Oh, they're going to wait. Ooh, they were looking for the catch. Didn't quite happen, but it was a smart idea. I team like throw it. on the left side. And they take him down. Too easy. Good work there from Ben Smart. Really solid. Living up to his name. Yeah, he is. <clears throat> Got oh, him. and team throw takes out Tom Moran. One Good player play. left. His arm looked kind of hurt, too. And there he is. That was great. So 2-0 in favor of Grand Valley. We still got 13 minutes and 36 seconds left in the first half. Like I said, things can go. I mean, Miami is still in this, but it can get really ugly really, really fast if they don't make an adjustment. Hunter, what do you think the, the adjustment they need to make? For Miami? Yeah. Um, the biggest thing is just Miami needs to be quicker on their counters. And the main reason for that is exactly what I was talking about earlier. If they let Grand Valley get to their back line, Grand Valley is just going to run them down in the neutral zone. Miami's an athletic team, but Grand Valley is just a little bit more athletic. They can beat them in that neutral zone, like I said earlier. And so what Miami needs to do is once Grand Valley forces them to their back line, they need to make sure that they are the ones who are playing more aggressive and running them down in the neutral zone and not giving Grand Valley that opportunity, that same opportunity. Exactly. So that's the biggest adjustment. Um, outside of that, I mean, you know, you just got to gotta make the catches when they come. Grand Valley's got a lot of great arms, but whenever the solo throw comes, you got to step up and make the play. 
you got to make those plays, man. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> you really got to make those plays. All right, here we go on the third point. Here we oh, go. just kidding. Looks like we got a false start on Miami. Wow. Uh, how is Ackerman doing today? I have no idea, to be honest with you. Uh, Hunter, can you tell um, Anthony how Ackerman's doing? Uh, Akron won their first game. Yep. Akron, or excuse me, as you were, they lost their first game to Towson. Then they won against uh, Georgia Southern, so they're one and one on the day. All right. Anywho, it seemed like two Miami players went down that exchange. Uh, min 13 minutes and 10 seconds left. And see, this is. Oh no! Miami's got to stop oh, this. Oh no, man! God. What did, what did I what did I say? You, they literally, stop you this. literally said point blank. And stop, see, look, there, stop, there it is. Stop giving up the neutral line. Stop, the neutral force. Stop doing that. Stop giving GV an opportunity to run their offense. All right, let's see what we got. Good throw from Tom Moran. That's Better a, throw from Nolan, that's, Nolan Stanko. That's another kill, man. Ooh, that's another kill. That, that's not good, man. Miami is not even looking on the right side. He got hit, and he lost his flashes. Someone please thank you. My goodness, man. Wow, dude. Miami's already on a, it's already on a 10 count, and they're not already. It's not even been two minutes at this point. That's just very. Oh, see? Hey. That's going to help. But see, like I said, when you get those individual throws on you, you got to make the catch when it counts. And a good play right there we Miami. Mi we missed the catch, but that's the effort that they need to do. Oh. That's another kill, kill against Grand Valley. Yeah, Gonzalez got to make that catch, but you know what? Sometimes better to be lucky than good if you're Miami in this case. Yeah, I agree, Dylan. They really are just feeding them free, just easy outs, man. That's really close. That's an out. Yeah. Yeah. See. They they gotta they gotta clean this up, man. But you know what? Um obviously like Grand Valley is oh, a super no. talented team. Oh no. Oh good blocks. Oh yes, he and did a it. Great catch. He did it. That's how you do it, Tom. See, like I said, just make the catch whenever whenever you have the opportunity. It but was, again, it, sorry, go ahead, Shadi. Sorry, it was about to get really ugly, but Tom really had to step up and play on that one. And see, this is smarter right here from Miami. They're staying a little bit back. Oh, he made it. Good catch. Good catch by Colin. That's definitely a catch. See, that's a catch. That's not even close for a debate. I think what he was what he was concerned with is like, so Colin Freeman went down on his knees, pretty much like bounced off his thighs and went straight up, and they were thinking that it was off the ground, but it was definitely off his body. God. Good throw from Josh Hill to take out Reed Munger. Man, Munger got destroyed that. Team catch. Team easy. catch. Ben Smart looking out. Dude, Ben didn't even turn around. So much disrespect for his opponent. He wasn't even looking at them on that team catch. That kid is a savage. Not a bad throw from Ben Smart. Just misses. Good block right there. Ten minutes and 28 seconds left in the first half. See, that's a good reset for Miami, but that's too little too late. They got to be doing that earlier. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah. good by Tom. They need to kind of spread out. Yep, there goes my mic. Uh. All right, we good now. Oh, wow. How is he still in? He had to do ballerina when he was a kid. <laughs> There's no way. Ballerina, gymnastics. Something. Something involving flexibility. A heavy dose of flexibility. No way. That's, no, that's not fine. That's fine. It's just right over the head. Fair enough. Colin's looking for the headshot, though. Indeed he is. He literally said, I'm going all out every single time I play. Oh, <laughs> he, a good catch. What a catch. Catch it out. Wow. And see, that, again, that's what I was talking about. Like, if you're in Miami, you got to just let Grand Valley come to your line because you've already proven that you can make the catches. Where they're at their weakest is when they're getting run down in the neutral zone. But on that note, you've got to make that catch zone. Yeah, I mean, it was a 
you know, can't deny it. Good deep throw. He made a catch. And a better catch from Nick Hill. Just yikes, 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 yikes. And there it is. Yikes. So 3-0 Grand Valley. That's just too easy work, man. Nine minutes and seven seconds left in the first half. Like I said, man, this, I'm not trying to sound disheartening to the Red Hawks because they're a solid team, but the, the running theme is when you play against GV, they make any team look really, really bad. Yeah, but, you know, I'm not Miami's coach. I'm not their captain, so I'm not really in a position to give them every, you know, every single advice or detail and whatnot, but... Like I said, my strategy for playing against a team like Grand Valley, just quick resets. You're not gonna you're you're not gonna do well if you let them get that neutral zone space and let them run you down. Yeah. So you might as well just make sure that you get forced to your line essentially. I shouldn't even say forced to your line. Make sure that they have to come to your line so you can run them down a neutral zone, slash make the catches when they present themselves. You pretty much just have to implement their same strategy against them and just do it better. Ooh. On the others on the other court though, Esselberg made a a uh, hellacious catch against number 19, Garner. Um, I would like to know what's going on with the JMU Central Michigan game. Because uh, JMU can still walk away going 3-0 and putting themselves back on the, on the driver's seat as maybe top dog on the East Coast. I don't know. That's still up for debate. All right. I'm not sure what this discussion is right here, but we'll try and get to the bottom of it. This is a very lengthy discussion, too. All right. Yeah, the score is three to zero. Nine minutes and seven seconds left in the first half. We're trying to figure out what's going on here. Oh. You know that's the no. call. I mean, the point, I mean, the point ended. I'm sorry. Like, that sucks. Like, it is what it is. That's why I like Yikes. I mean, I was in my slide for that, but it was 34 minutes. Yeah, Dylan, you're absolutely right. I mean, Creek, yeah. I mean, by definition, the rule is, like, if a, if a catch is happening, you have a 10 second requirement to be able to play, but if nobody does, I know, but. All right, so it seems like um, there was like some discrepancy uh, that happened on a on the last game between both teams. They're very pe they're very peaceful about it. They just want to understand like how to go about doing all this. And um, but the game has already been over, and so as a result, it's still going to be three to zero regardless. Um, if you are not a captain or a ref, though, you don't need to be here because there's nothing really, really to discuss. But yeah, but Dylan, you're absolutely right. I mean, wall ball will help, but as you can see over here, on this side, the wall ain't really too much of an advantage. As in comparison to this side, wall ball is a huge advantage, so. But yeah, quick, quick recess really is going to be the only way. The only way that um, Miami is coming back in this game is quick recess. All right, so here's what the discrepancy was that they were talking about. All right. Basically, what happened was um, there was a there was a portion of that point where there was a team catch that was made. Miami was not aware of it, and they were under the impression that. Like, as a result of the, you know, obviously, like, as a result of the team catch, Guy should have came in. And on said team catch, Tom Moran went out as well without realizing. Now, that was a rule change that if you, you know, as a sportsmanship clause, if you voluntary, voluntarily exit, but it's a team catch, you're allowed to reenter the game, plus you still are awarded the catch. But my issue with that, and I brought, the, I brought this up to them, is that they, they exited the court. Even if they weren't, even if they weren't completely aware of it, that's on them. That point's over. You can't just reset from that, you know, from that moment. So, as a result, 3-0 Grand Valley. Yeah. 
And I, like I said, it's a tough situation, and it sucks. But realistically, Miami just has to be more heads up in that situation. It is what it is. And, you know, maybe not, entire, not entirely to their discredit, I should say, but, like, you know, maybe the ref steps in and just, like, you know, calls the play dead to make sure that the right call is made. But, uh, I mean, again, you just got to make sure that you're paying attention. That's all. That's what it comes down to. Exactly. All right. So, 3-0. And like I've, been, like I've been preaching this entire time, the neutral zone area has just been beautiful for Grand Valley. Uh-oh. That's an L. Tom goes down that exchange. He's very frustrated at this point. Yeah. Yeah, and I can't say I blame him. You, that's, you, a, that's a tough. That's a tough situation to go out on. You, you really hate to see it, man. But DB's on a mission right now, unfortunately. Yeah, I think. I God, think, a glasses. Two glasses go down. Yeah. Both kids with glasses get knocked out. One of them takes a hit. Though. My goodness. Yeah, for Grand Valley, I think that this is like a, this is going to be a statement tournament for them to say like we are the number one team in the country, undoubtedly. Yeah, and we're gonna you know we're gonna prove it. Yeah, they they felt very angry that people keep on saying, "Nah, you're not number one." I mean, me, that's a different story. You can say number one, number two, based on how you feel, but every game that GB has played, it's been dominant. They haven't been a close game yet, and it seems like it's about to be the same thing again. Good throw right there. Good reset. So, again, if you're Miami here, it's tough. Grand Valley's got good arms, but look for the catch. Yeah, look for it. Or just get the reset. Oh, man, that's not. A little close. Yikes. A little close. Oh, no. That shouldn't. Well. He he rose he he raised his hand on that one so that I mean as it as it is like pretty much if you can make a play on it it's it's a legitimate ball that's fair that's definitely fair all right Left side. oh Ooh, got good him. team throw Josh, Josh, takes out number five Jones oh my man with the glasses man just having the roughest time Colin goes down though Colin Freeman. Just okay. Definitely seems to be another discrepancy between the two teams. Yeah. Good block. That's clean. See, quick reset. Good. Force him to get back. Not a one. There you go. That's a block. No, that was block. close. That's, That's a, a hit. hit. Josh Hill goes down. Oh no, no, no. Eight. You gotta pay attention. Oh, that's, that's not going to work. Even he realized it. All right, so Miami's doing a lot better job at this point, getting the resets, making sure that they're not getting pressured in the neutral zone. That's how you – oh, Ooh. no. Toughness. Oh, no. All right, but here, like I said, here's where it's going to come. It's not doom and gloom. They, oh, what a pump fake. See, that's – Ben Small with the pump fake, man. Savage. He's the king of it, man. He can pump up tires with those. He really could, man. Nope. But a lot better point right now for Miami. It is. Downside is, like I said, playing downside, even though that strategy is the better strategy to play, the downside, you give up ball control to a team like Grand Valley. Yep. It's a tough thing to overcome. He stopped the ball. Good. They got two balls. Good. This is really good. This is really, really good for them. You see, long reset. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Now GV has to be forced to make really good throws now. That'll work. But they're using a the ball to their advantage. See? If you're Nolan Staker, you got to hold on to that right there. Yeah. Let yourself get collected. You have all the balls. Set up a team throw. Don't want to risk throwing a catch, especially against one of the best catchers in the league in Reed Munger. Team throw just misses. They get the red ball, though, Miami. That was close. I think they're going to count it. 
<laughs> right in the titties. Wow, really? Are we allowed to say that on, on, on live feed? You know, it's not a profanity. Fair enough. All right, Miami got three balls now. Oh! Nolan Stako drops an easy catch. That should have been a catch. He got lucky. Indeed. But that's good for Ryan, though. It seems like Miami seems. Uh oh. Yikes. Too many balls were thrown. Oh, no. Oh, no. They only got one ball now. Good team throw. Got him by the foot. No! Whoa, whoa. Apparently it was a team catch, I guess. It hit the wall, though. No, 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 no. There was another ball that hit his foot. Ah, that one definitely hit 42, though. Three minutes and 50 seconds left. All right, six players in for Grand Valley. Miami at an interesting point right here. Yeah, they are. They definitely, they obviously need to get this point before the half if they want to stay in this game. But yeah. how they go about getting it is going to be interesting. Because Grand Valley, almost every single player has a ball. And that just makes it impossible to get kills against a team that's as good as they are. Got him. Oh! Mungo goes down, 33 goes down. Ben Smart's pushing up by himself. I mean, uh, some, sorry, go ahead, Shadeen. Sorry, I was just going to say three minutes and 16 seconds left. Yeah. Some very talented players still in for Grand Valley, but, you know, like I, like I was saying, the quick resets have been good for Miami, and this has been a good adjustment. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was close. That was good. You can get, you can get it. Keep playing. Yeah, keep playing, guys. Three minutes and 42 seconds left. Keep going. Here we go. Ooh, that almost had him. It just kind of died off at the end. Not a bad reset throw by number five. Uh, as far as scores from other games go, I'm not entirely sure, but JMU looks to be up either 2-0 or 3-0 on Central Michigan. Yeah. Hard to say. Yeah, the Deuce is just putting it to the metal now against the Cardinals. Central Michigan's the chips, brother. Oh, my bad. Oh, good catch. My bad. Fire up chips. I was going down that exchange, though. Uh, one minute and 55 seconds left. Four plays left for Grand Valley. Other games we got going on right now, we've got West Virginia versus Ohio B. Oh, we've that's got not going to work. Oh, that really is not going to work. The last thing you want to do is give GV more balls. Yeah. Minute 40 left. Grand Valley just looking to hold out here. Good block from uh, Nick Heel. Heel, hell. Not sure how it's pronounced completely, but. Ooh. Not a bad throw. Oh, good Got kill him. from Tom Moran. That's a really see. Now that's a good throw. That's a really good throw by Tom. You got to at least put two on Ben. Oh, what wow. an accurate kill by Tom Moreno! My goodness. Two players left in Grand Valley. A minute and five seconds left in the first half. Ben Smart is the key. Oh, oh he drops the block. Oh no, his hand. Yeah. Oh man, he's injured. Oh, He's been are. playing with a broken left hand. Uh, I don't know, man. Wow. That's big. We're going to halftime three to one. Ben Smart, um, we, we, we just said this before in the past, so it's okay for us now to say. Ben Smart is playing with a broken left hand, and so it seems like that throw – very accurately kind of aggravated once again. So that's gonna be a that's gonna be a very interesting thing. Um, Miami was able to get the point with 50.7 seconds left. That will be added into the second half. And um, momentum's definitely looking much better for the Red Hawks.
Anywho, I had to unmic myself because I put my own mic. So whatever you heard on the mic that I was talking, you didn't hear anything, so you hate to see it. Um, but we should be back and ready to go now. Yeah, we're trying to work on grabbing some of the other scores. Um, I'm not sure what all of them are. I do know that West Virginia beat Ohio's B team 5-0, to zero, and they called it at halftime. Fair. Not an entirely unexpected result, but um, we're still trying to figure out what North Georgia and Ball State is, yeah, so, along with Cleveland State and UVA. Yeah, so I talked to Kyle, and he was telling me that uh, it was 3-1 um, Nighthawks, so 3-1 uh, North Georgia. Okay. Um, and then we also got 3-1 of Cleveland State over UVA. Gotcha. I think they might be in the second half. I'm not 100% sure. But it, but we'll see how things play out, though. Gotcha, gotcha. Pretty no. good showing for the Ohio schools. Yes. Yes. Uh-oh. Would have been nice to have uh, VCU and Maryland out here. It would have been. Unfortunately, though, Maryland, they can't really go to tournament outside of a certain radius. I want to say about maybe 250 miles or more. They, so they can't go to up, so they can't go to those type of tournaments except for nationals. VCU, unfortunately, they just they you know they just didn't do it. So it's unfortunate. It would have been it would have been good for them to uh, to be exposed to this type of environment. Speaking of VCU, we got a uh, Ike. Um, captain and president of VCU, currently watching with us. Nice to see you there, buddy. Anywho, it's currently three minutes and 18 seconds left in the second half. Miami was able to get the point uh, within 50 seconds of the first half, thus putting them in the situation. Until then, it was all Lakers. And just to clarify, 23 minutes. Yes, 23, 23 minutes. Not three, but it's all good. Yeah, 23. We just got started in the second half. So, uh, GV only got two balls now. Now they're back to one, and they're on the back line. This is a good opportunity for Miami to do a team throw, uh, to do a team throw. Now, yeah, maybe challenging the one kid that stuck your best thrower earlier is not the best idea. Just, but just a thought. That's ball with blood. So just get another ball in there. Don't stop the game just because of that. Yeah. Uh, got a score update as well. JMU and CMU currently playing. It is three to one at halftime in favor of JMU. Oh, good C showing for the Dukes. Oh, CMU actually got a point. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we got some high-scoring games uh, thus far. Nice. Which nice. you love to see it. Yeah, you do. Seems like Gary's giving us a hard time too, shaking his head, shaking his head at you. I don't know why. Oh. Uh, that looks. Ground. That looked like ground. And I think and that was called correctly, so. Fair enough. It was close, but. Cows is doing a really good job roughing thus far, so they're honest people. So this is, this is interesting because the entire story of the first half was pretty much Grand Valley just running down Miami within the neutral zone. And now with Miami having such an astounding balls advantage, there's no opportunity for that for Grand Valley, and so they just like can't play their normal strategy. They're literally just flip flopping the scenario, like Let's li see. like literally. But they gotta stop throwing too many balls though. Mm -hmm. But but they're literally doing what we wanted them to do in the first half, except oh, that's a kill. GV's on a 10 count now. They're just stalking them. Oh, oh that's, that's not that's going to work. That should be an out. That is an out. Should have never went for that ball. Um. Oh, rare mistake from Grand Valley right Yikes. there. Yikes. Wasting two balls. You, you don't really see GV teams making mistakes that often. Also, almost a bad decision from Dominic Tyberski right there to challenge one of GV's best catchers. Put two on him. Put two on him, exactly. Put two. See, you, you stagger. See, see, there you go. Team throw, makes it, team throw makes things a lot easier. Four players left for GV. Oh, that's a miscatch. We missed it on camera, bud. 
Oil Machine should have had that catch, though. Team, team throw. Stack a team throw. Smart to put the team throw on Alex Yanaskis. It's got to be on-time team throw, not stagger team throws. Oh, crap. I need to actually update something. It's the second half, not the first. Ooh. Great throw right there from Miami to take out Yanaskis. Nice. Only three, three players remaining for Grand Valley. Only three players left. Wow. And they only got two balls. Good throw right there from GV. That's not the move, Tom. I respect you, man. That's not the move. Mm. Got to put two. Got to at least put two. Need to be a team throw. And someone need to be watching out. There you go. There you go. Now he has to throw. Now they only have one ball. Now you can do another team throw. You do it right. See, no, 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 no. We're giving a lot of advice to Miami. Maybe we should give some more to Grand Valley. Do Grand Valley really need any advice? Um, well, one suggestion I would say when they're in these like, when they're in these like, small amount of player situations, and they're they're gonna looks like they're starting to do it now, is I would take advantage of the new out of bounds rules, and just like have guys positioned more closer to the sideline. So that way, if it rolls out of bounds, your teammates can actually feed it back to you Cole. instead of being in the middle and like having a rollback type of situation. Oh, Carl with the missed catch though. But he was able to get a kill though. One player left. Oh. And there it is. So three to two now. Miami clawing their way back into this. We was thinking that Danes were about to get really, really ugly. Oh, oh, actually, as you were, it was a balls over beforehand. Oh. Probably just delaying the inevitable, yeah. but still has a chance. Still has a chance. One Laker. What, what even is a Laker? Is it a guy who navigates lakes? Uh, that's a good question, man. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Random fact about Miami, so their team name is the Red Hawks. But uh, he almost had oh. it. He almost had it. Did almost have it. Random fact about Miami, so their team is the Red Hawks, but they actually used to be the Miami Redskins, and then they changed it. I think it was either in the 60s or the 70s. That's some um, some just random facts that I know. That's really interesting. Yeah, by really interesting, just very generic. But it's there nonetheless. Indeed. So Miami doing a way better job this half of controlling controlling the tempo, but more specifically making sure that Grand Valley doesn't have opportunities to run them down in the neutral zone. Absolutely. It starts with the opening rush, and I have to think that in this opening rush portion right here, Grand Valley's probably going to make a hard push to get as many balls as they can. Yeah. That way that they can play more of their style and force Miami into a bad situation. But, yeah. you know, we're going to see. Yeah. And on a more positive note, so Ben Smart left at the end of the first half with what appeared to be a broken hand of, or at least a hand injury of some kind. Of some kind. He's taped up now, um, and he's back on the court, which is really huge for Grand Valley, such a talented player. Yes, he is. That's, ve that's very encouraging. I'm, I'm happy to see that. Yeah. And we'll see how much of a difference maker it's going to end up being. He's, I mean, when, when, when Ben is in the game. Nice. When Ben is in the game, though, he just adds just a different element for his teammates. And he just bells him out on so many issues. He's a difference maker without question. GV can still get a job done without him, but they play way better when he's on the court. So, Miami, it seems like they're playing a little bit of wall ball type of deal, which, as far as the strategy goes, it is what it is. Ooh. Ooh, seems like Ben Smart. Nolan right, right hand is injured, as well as his left. That's a good kill, though. Oh. Ooh, man, Colin gave him mercy on that one. Because he could have wrecked him and ended my man's whole career. In, in him. Whole career. Oh, good, good catch from Blake Clevenger. Oh, good catch from Josh Hill. Oh, my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. <coughs> We're going to 
going to see if the wheels start coming off the wagon for Miami. We'll have to find out. Good reset throw from both teams. Oh, good catch from Munger. As long as he's in the game, the wheel's not falling off. Fair enough. What a block. You know what? I'm not even worried about it. I'm not even worried about the mic just got destroyed once again. I, I'm, I'm not even worried. It just happens, dude. All right. Um, on the scoreboard, update that to three to two, by the way. Uh, yeah, you're right. All right. So Grand Valley looking to put on a little bit more pressure. Ben Smart says he's got it, and he does got it. What a kill by Ben. Calling his own number. Yes, he is. Got him. Oh, got That's two. two. That's two. One step out, another one got killed. So Miami down to five players now in the 10-second shot clock zone. Like I said, GV can definitely win. Oh, and a good catch. You know what? He caught it. Stop. Oh. Stop. How did he nutmeg him? Stop talking to the ref when plays are happening, dude. You, you hit my laptop again, I'm suspending your club. You hate to see it. I don't think he was joking either. <laughs> I mean, he might be joking, but I don't think he was. All right, not bad for transition play. Ooh, a couple wasted throws right there from Miami. Yeah, it was. If they get the kill, it's nice to get you now, but losing two balls like that it's not when worth you're it. down players. It's not worth it. You know, if I'm Miami, I consider stepping off here. That's not a bad idea. Definitely saving some time. It's only 15 minutes and 30 right. seconds. And Why the clock? a timeout from Oh, Miami. okay. All right, I was about to say. Hey, it's. Work on trying to get you guys some other scores, but last we checked, um, JMU was up three to one on Central Michigan. May or may not still be the case, hard to say. Uh, North Georgia was up three to one on Ball State, presumably in the second half. And then Cleveland State was up three to one on University of Virginia. And for those just checking in, it's three to two right now in favor of Grand Valley. And it looks like Grand Valley's on the verge of getting another point with a little over 15 minutes left. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so a minute, uh, 15 minutes and 30 seconds left. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, I think it would be smart for Miami to step out here, um, give yourself a little bit more time. I mean, maybe they got a lot of confidence in the guys on the court. Somehow they can catch back into this. Or they feel less confident with a uh, – two-point disadvantage than they do with a one, but... Yeah, I would definitely step out if I was down. We'll see. Could feel things out a little bit, try and wear down some of the arms of Grand Valley, maybe. Yeah, oh, good step, catch from Josh Hill. step off. Step off right. Up. Oh. oh, wait, hold on a second, though. We got a ball's over. Yikes. Oh, boy. Not that it's going to mean much. Big. This is big. Uh, yeah, I'll respectfully disagree. I mean, it sucks on the part of Grand Valley, but you have an overwhelming amount of players on your side. Miami doesn't have their aces in as far as throwers. I don't think they could be in a worse spot. They could. Let's see what they do here. All right, let's see what happens. All right. No dice. No dice at all. Yeah, smart by Grand Valley here, knowing that they are on the 15 and Miami on the 10. Force them to come out here and then hopefully run some players down. That's a kill. See, smart. You got to appreciate the smart heads up play from Grand Valley. That was good of Josh Hill to be able to call that out for them. That's not going to work. work. That, that will work. work. That will. Blake Clevenger stepping up. Lost his shoe. Lost his shoe. 
They, they may show him mercy, and they do, surprisingly. Yeah, yeah you know, if you're grand, yep, oh, they're, call, they're telling him to step out. Yep, just Smart step, call, smart just, call. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. I was going to say, if you're Grand Valley, you take advantage of that situation and you just stall some clock a little bit. But Absolutely. Miami man. smartly taking their out. As they should, man. 14 minutes and three seconds remaining. Score is 4-2 to two in favor of Grand Valley. Seems like JMU is having a little bit of trouble over there in the other court against uh, Chips. Yeah, does appear so. Yep. Tough throw. Um... I'm going to work on trying to find some other scores real quick. I'll be right back. Seems like Jonathan Smith missed the cast, though. That's very unfortunate. All right, seems like three players, two players left in JMU. Chip's looking to fight, push up. Oh, that's a team catch. Nothing bad will happen. Uh, actually, three players left in JMU. My apologies. Uh, seems like nothing bad will happen. Uh, seems like they're disputing. And you know what? Uh, I don't know what's going on over there. Anywho, on this court, though, here we go. Oh. Man, Ryan just got wrecked again. I don't want to say he's a running theme because he's a great catcher. He's just, just been having a rough day thus far. All right, good block by number five. Uh-oh. Miss. Miss catch. Ben Collins looking at Dustin. Throwing him like a blanket. Just missed him. Is there another pop ball? I don't know. Maybe. Anywho, Miami's looking to push up. Man, just misses. You really hate to see it. Let's get the, let's get the uh, crowd feet mic a little bit closer to the action. There we go. Change things up a little bit. There we go. You can hear a little bit more of the crowd noise. Miami really needs to throw. That was really close. All right, see my Miami's kind of just taking their time. GV's just hanging back a little bit. 12 minutes and 10 seconds left. Oh, that got him. Oh, wait a minute. I guess not. Number four, GV still in. Not a bad throw by number 80. Miami's doing a really good job with the transition. Ooh, they got him out. They got my man out. GV only got two balls, so Miami's pushing up very aggressively. Oh, here it comes. Got him. Good kill by Tom Miranda. Miami's doing much better at this point. Much better. All right, so I got one score update. Uh, North Georgia. Ooh, what a catch. Good catch from Ethan Euler. What a clutch catch right there. Uh, North Georgia defeats Ball State 6-2. Let's go! What so a that's a final. What a slaughter that was. Uh, still not sure about Cleveland State UVA. We need to We're figure out who number 12 is on um, uh, North Georgia. To that. That's a grown man right there. I walked in, and my man just destroyed my man's whole career. It was like a murder on sight, man. I'm not even kidding. He's an assistant captain, too. Good block right there. Less than stellar throw, though. Indeed. Here it comes. Oh, got him. Freeman goes down that exchange. 
Only four players left for TV. Ten minutes and 22 seconds left. Reset now, all the balls on Miami side. Oh, good dodge right there from Josh Hill. Oh, got him in the leg. Wow. Ooh. Oh, he turned his back. He almost got. Rookie mistake. Yikes, man. He got to do better than that. Almost paid for it. He really did, man. And the ball's over. Oh, man. So really good for Miami to step in off the court earlier uh, within the game in the last point. Does give them enough time. Nine minutes and 36 seconds left in the second half. Still plenty of time for them to get this point and to still take another point as well. Yeah, if I'm Miami here, I probably make two team throw efforts. And I'm definitely... Nothing. I'm very surprised that uh, GV didn't call a timeout in that situation. Nah, they, they should probably save them for an extra point in case it ends up coming up. I don't... I think they're fine where they were. Oh, good stop right there. All right, so he's seen. He thought that the other guy got hit. In, yeah, and he, yeah, he's out. That's fair. Oh, oh wow. He finally did it. What a, what, what a bait. Ryan finally oh. made a catch. You don't reach him, but don't reach. Stop reaching. One player left for GV, man. Eight minutes and 48 seconds left. Nick Hill, talented guy, but, and it's balls over. Wow. Wow. Yeah, like I said, talented kid, but uh, going to be tough to dig yourself out of this hole. Indeed. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Number 40 got to find a way to just stay alive. Probably make a catch. Probably help his cause. Three, two, one. No, no catch. That'll do it. So four to three now with eight minutes and 40 seconds left. That is plenty of time to snag another point. It is. Potentially send it to overtime. You know, we haven't had an overtime game yet, and I feel some type of way about that. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, we've had some upsets. The Ohio Towson game being the biggest example of that. Yep. But, uh, you know, like you said, no overtime games yet. Yeah. Key word is yet. Yeah, we kind of I kind of need that overtime game to happen though. I have a streak going on. I'm currently uh four for four of any tournament that I do commentating. There's at least one overtime, so I kind of I kind of need that to happen. Kind of need it. Keep the streak alive. Got to man. Got to finish the fall semester strong, man. Eight minutes and forty seconds left. GV is only up by 1.4 to 3. 22, Miami is super fired up, as it should be. And here it comes. And it seems like GV got ball. Okay. Hold on a second. We got a timeout. Oh, boy. Looks like it was a false start on Miami. Oh, boy. Yep. Womp, womp, womp. I mean, you can appreciate the aggressiveness, but... Uh, when it costs your captain, Tom Moran, from being in the game, that's, that's, that's not, not a great thing. That's not the move, man. Not a great thing. Man. Well, I want Miami to take this point so we can go to overtime because I'm – that's just a selfish me talking right now because, again, I want to see an overtime. I mean, it's great for the sport. Right now, Grand Valley. Some, right. And somehow, Miami was able to get ball advantage despite the fact that they were down a man right off in the jump. That's incredible. Oh, that's too many balls, though. That's yeah. Oh, that, way that too got many. Him. That got him. Yeah, but 
still. Oh, wait. Like you that... said, way too many. Ooh, I don't know. No, that was clean block. Okay. It looked like four got hit, though. Okay. And we just got a score update. JMU is actually up 4-1 to one in the second half. Oh, wow. So, JMU probably in a good spot for that game, but. Too many balls were thrown. Oh! And a miscatch. Just compound these mistakes, man. Um, would the Central Michigan game be live? I don't think so. I mean, we'll cross from the court, but I don't think it's going to be. Oh, got him. Uh-oh. Dude, let me tell you, watching Kevin Corona's play gives me back problems. That kid plays so hunched over. It's kind of uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Oh, no. Can't stop that ball. Wow. TV only got three balls now. They're going to have to give up one. Literally, Miami is literally playing GV's game against them. And we said that's what they needed to do. Yeah, that and one of the other big one of the other big adjustments. Oh, that is tough. Too many balls to throw. Wow. One of the other big Catch. adjustments. And he pointed at him, telling him to get off the court. Literally pointed at him. Stop the clock. Stop the let's, clock. Let's, let's figure out the madness. Oh my goodness. Well, before I was so rudely interrupted by all the action, uh, <laughs> one of the other big adjustments that Miami made is defer definitely taking advantage of the wall back there, playing a little bit more wall ball. While it's certainly not anyone's favorite style of play, um, it is an effective strategy nonetheless, I mean, and they're taking advantage of it. I mean, didn't he, I mean Dylan Fetty literally said straight up, like, for Miami to come back in this game, they would have to do wall ball and they would have to do quick resets. They're doing both. Now, granted, once one side of the court does have a wall, the other side not so much. So it's not surprising that Miami's doing better since they can utilize the wall a lot more freely and compare it to the other side. Jacob Larson rudely walking in front of the stream. It's all good. Run it back one more time. All right, well, at least he was honest about it. He apologized. Yeah. Um, so we got a little under seven minutes, 650 remaining. Uh, Miami of Ohio with seven balls, still seven balls. And that disappointed look on Alex Yunowski's face, and it, I'm sure that's what every Grand Valley fan is thinking too. And Good block right there. And Colin Freeman too. He's kind of PO of. They're going to keep doing this back and forth, but they're still in the league, so. Yeah, smart smart right here from Grand Valley. Eat a little bit of clock. Also, don't work yourself into the other team's zone. Force them to come to you. Just right over 33's head. Colin Freeman is not happy about that at all. Yeah, Grand Valley's not a team that's used to playing wall ball because they on their home court they use netting. What stops any type of rollback situations like that? Got him. Oh. And he couldn't get the ball either. Yeah, I don't know why he's reaching for that. I don't know why either. He have just, just clipped him on it the head. Just at the last second. Five minutes and 44 seconds left. Not a bad throw by Colin. Ooh, no. what a pump fit. Oh, you can't. Oh, wow, they got him. They can't be solo throwing though. They gotta, they gotta set up the team throws. Yeah, good reset throw though. I guess, you know, I guess the thought process in Miami's mind right now: one throw, get it off the wall. If it doesn't go off the wall, at worst you're losing one ball. It's probably what they're focusing on and trying to just lead out balls from Grand Valley. But I gotta think a team like Grand Valley is probably too disciplined to let that happen. Yeah. Agreed. And smartly so, they're going to put a couple guys like in the back just to stop any type of rollback situation. That's another play down for TV. We're getting really close to it. Oh, that was close. We're getting really, really close to a tank out. We are now under five minutes. Good reset from Yanowskis. Nope. But that too, will. Too many throws, though. Yeah, I don't know if the first throw was in, was in the zone, though, so it was probably a smart just to, like, finish that up. That's fine. 
Got to try and make that catch, though. Oh, yep. good stop from Gonzalez. Yep. Way See. to step up. See. Miami got to take some chance to try and make some catches in this situation. Agreed. And I think smart, smart from uh, smart from GB here. Not only eating up the clock, but also making sure that the throws are coming from your best guy. So Yanowski gets the one taking responsibility for the resets right here, knowing that he's got to put it in the right spot, not have a play happen on it. That's right. Oh, that. No. Uh, just, just blocked it upwards. That's all. It just looked weird. Yeah. Three minutes and 38 seconds left. A little bit of a lull, but this is where you see the more strategic nature of NCD. Oh, that got him. That, I, that, I jinxed it. Yeah, that definitely got him for sure, without question. And now an interesting development. So Grand Valley on the 10-second shot clock. Miami's got to take advantage of that five-second difference. We are now under four minutes. If Miami find a way to get this point, we're going to overtime. Good block from Yanowskis. Timeout call? Uh, I believe so. All right. Might have been a timeout from Miami after their throw, which I think would be a good idea. Give yourself a little bit of time to recruit, come up with a strategy, and yeah. see if you can steal another point and send us to overtime. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as far as some other scores right now, I believe that JMU is still up 4-1 to one on Central Michigan. Uh, North Georgia defeated Ball State 6-2. Not sure what we're looking at with the uh, Cleveland State UVA game, but last we checked it was 3-1 to one in favor of Cleveland State. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. And yeah, I think my hypothesis about Miami's timeout is correct. They're going to try and recoup a little bit, but not only that, try and force Grand Valley out of the back line, or maybe not, just run up and see what happens. Good play uh, from Grand Valley to stop that ball. Oh, wow. That was over. Yeah, that throw looked a little short. I think that was the right call. Yeah, it was. Tough decision for Grand Valley, but Accurate call, nonetheless. That's really big for Miami. Three, two, one. Nothing. Two minutes and 48 seconds left in second half. All right, looks like Coda Gallagher is going to take over the responsibility of the resets, but only one ball, so. Good team throw, taking out Alex Janowskis. Four players left for GV. Wow. What a catch. Mr. Jones making that catch. Holy crap. Just how? Yeah, Ben Smart visibly upset, and I can understand the feeling. I've been there before. Oh, that dude is over the line. Only two. Oh my God! Oh my God! It seems like it's about to happen. Timeout call by Miami. Two players to beat, one minute, 42 seconds. Man, if there's an opportunity for overtime, it might be now, man. Just might be. Oh, man, it's feeling like Christmas. <laughs> so two players left in for Grand Valley. We got Colin Freeman and Nick Hill. And for Miami, I think they have all but two guys in, so they're in a good spot. They can play as aggressive as they want to. And actually, I was incorrect. They've got 11 guys in because yeah. they got the catch. Yeah, and Tom Moreno's still out, though, unfortunately. What's that? Isn't Tom still out? No, Tom's in. Okay. 
No, nope, they just got one presumably freshman, considering he doesn't have a jersey out. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Now, in the event that this does go into overtime, don't want to don't want to speak too early. But in the event that this does go into overtime, who do you think has the edge to need? Well, if we do go to overtime, if Miami definitely have the edge right now because um, they found a way to score like two points with uh, not a lot of time. One minute and 30 seconds left. Should be a ball is over, and yeah. it is. Yeah, that ball didn't get over the line. Oh my goodness. All right, my mic should be working a little bit better now. I just had to put a piece on real quick. All good. But uh, my mic three or mic four? Yeah. But uh, Ryan, uh, he's been struggling a lot lately, but he made two really clutch catches when he really needed the most, and that's going to be a difference. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Got. Oh my God! Right in the chest. That is all ground. Nothing there. Oh, oh my God! So on Towson's loss, Grand Valley became the number one team in the country. But now that number one ranking looks like it could be in jeopardy. About 15 minutes left, and then Miami decided to step out to make it four to two to try and get back to this game. And that decision definitely paid off for the kids. Uh, they are now going into overtime with a chance to upset the number one team in the country. That's absolutely crazy. And for Miami, we've got some usual faces. We got Tom Moran, Dominic Tyberski, Reed Munger, and Ethan Oiler as well. On the Grand Valley side, about who you'd expect to see in. Alex Janowski has been smart, 100% in there. Nolan Stanko in, Josh Hill. And it looks like joining them is going to be Blake Clevenger and Cody Gallagher. So this is going to be a really high profile matchup. I, just based off of, on paper, I probably give Grand Valley the edge here on a talent person by person basis, but all the momentum in Miami's favor. Yeah, absolutely. Without question. All right, so here we go. Oh, holy crap. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that was Good a rush. shuffle right there. Good rush. That's fair. That's fair. He got it. Oh, man. Tom Moran is fired up. He's drawing up the X. Oh, he was almost caught sleeping. Almost. Not almost. quite. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Woo, baby. Oh, good throw from Moran. Takes out Nolan Stanko. Woo Hello. Wow, what a block. Whoa. Whoa. You've got to be careful with those throws towards Ben Smart's direction. He will make a catch and make you pay. Yeah, he doesn't care. He got a broken finger, hand, or whatever the case may be. Uh oh, careful. Yikes. Be careful if you can't you're turn your back, man. What are you doing? Don't ever turn your back. What Good a block. block. There. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! Toda Gallagher just missing. Uh oh, the throw. yikes. That's a mistake. What a block, though. Wow. What a move. Sliding and gliding. See, that's why you got to get those. Oh! Oh! oh, my God. Oh, my God. He got him. Three players left for Grand Valley now. Oh, man. No, Ben is still in. Oh, I'm sorry. Four players in. Oh, man. Yo, they missed the call. They don't know if he's in or out. Uh-oh. Yeah, tough scene. Really tough scene. God, just. Janowskis goes down. Three players left. Yeah, man. Miami with five in the game. We're in 10 in the AC. And there's a timeout for Miami. Timeout, timeout. We're in 10 in the AC. Let's go.
watch this in 1080 HD, ladies and gentlemen. Get on your computer, your laptop. Go ahead and take that 1080, man. We're in this old time, man. First overtime the game. I'm still perfect. Five for five when I show up for commentating. An overtime game will happen. I am more than excited. I'm geeked up, man. I'm geeked. Yo, momentum is clearly in Miami's favor, but don't count out the Lakers yet. They still got an opportunity to pull this one off. One point in time, they was up three to zero in the first half. Then Miami was able to score, and then GV was able to score in the second half, and then it's been Miami ever since. Okay. Uh, another development, so JMU defeats Central Michigan five to one. But obviously the main focus right now, this overtime game, Miami has five players in. They're going to get that ball. They got it too Grand easy. Grand Valley's uh -oh. three. I wouldn't be throwing caution. I'll be a little bit more cautious around Ben. Oh, oh he got him right in the leg. Him. Still as accurate as ever. Oh, almost stopped from Four Dota. players left for Miami. This is going to be big. Yeah, Miami but only one ball. Uh-oh, here it comes. Oh, oh that oh, oh, Woo! That looking kind of familiar, ladies and gentlemen. Brendan Mizer type of jump, and that's going to do the trick right there, ladies and gentlemen. Miami's in a bad situation. Ooh. All right, so four players on Grand Valley side, three on Miami after that break. All right. Like I said, we missed absolutely nothing. So we're still winning. You know, if I'm a... Uh, if I'm Grand Valley here, I challenge Dominic Tyberski first and foremost. Probably the relatively weakest catcher on the Miami side. Plus, bigger target, might as well. Good idea. Make him work. As for the Miami side, just make a play. Oh, as Ethan Euler goes down on the great team throw. Two players left. That's not smart. Ooh. Wow. Oh, and the catch from Mager! Ooh. Three to three now. Oh, and he's smiling. He loves it. You love to see it. He if you're loves this. He loves this moment, man. This is when he's at his best. Ooh, that was. Uh oh, but Ben is still in. That's a big, it's a big game changer right there. Good throw from Tyberski. Thank you, Colin. I'm trying my best, buddy. It's not easy. I'm glad uh, somebody. A little questionable on that throw. I'm glad somebody appreciate my work. Good throw from Munger. All, All right. right, team throw coming. Ooh, stagger. Ooh, that was close. Good job, though. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh he got a he, catch he still, out. He still made a catch, and the catch was against Ben Smart out of all people. That is big. That's really, really big. Three versus two now in favor of Miami. Oh, man. The young freshman got to stay in somehow. I love his sliding ability, but he's got to stay in. Uh-oh, that's really, you know, not a bad play. Good block. You got to really make sure to, oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. And he gets the ball back. Great job. All right. Who's going to make the mistake? Ooh, that's what it's going to come down gonna to. Make, uh, that's a mistake. You got to throw him down to one. Oh, wow, the ref didn't call that. That should have been a ball. It's over. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You got to keep running. Keep running. You got to keep running. Good run. job that from Clevenger. That's not going to work. Good block. And a good reset. Oh, my goodness. It's tight, folks. It's, oh, it's, good throw from Stanko. Just misses. Oh, yeah, just to let you guys know, there's a possibility that connectivity issues or people throwing balls at each other, it's always going to be a thing, so don't hold your breath. But we're going to make sure that we try our best for this one. Oh! <laughs> Big that, hit for Stanko. That was a mistake. Two on two now. Why did he turn his back? Grand I, Valley with the number one spot on the line right now. Oh, no. Oh, oh, he oh my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, but he gets hit. Oh, God, only two points. Two v one. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, 
what a tough situation there. Uh, looking. Oh, and the catch! Is. And that is game. That's Grand Valley State comes away yeah. with the win. Yeah. What an absolute effort from Blake Clevenger. Yeah, we definitely lost the steam after. Uh, uh, yeah, we definitely lost the steam after that one. Pretty much a deciding factor uh, when Maxwell decided to turn his back for whatever reason. Um, which is like rule number one, you never turn your back on your opponent. Um, that that kind of just swinged the momentum back to GB favor and a very risky play um, right here on the attack line and just misses for Miami. And that's, that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it.